So now I have finished the neck opening and the front part for the for the button band. So I have done all my sticking and I'm ready to make the edge around the neck. I have already gathered the shoulders. I have done that by using a three needle bind off. And what I am going to do now is to pick up stitches here along the edge until I arrive here at the shoulder. Here I will find the remaining stitches from the piece that will go on the back. So I will just knit all of those until I arrive at the other shoulder and here I will continue to pick up stitches until I end up here. And when I am done picking up all my stitches I will just turn to the wrong side and I will purl back all the way and then I will knit the other way. So I will just knit back and forward making sure that I get my knit stitches here on the knit side and my purl stitches here on my purl side. So what I'm going to do is to I will just use my circular needle here and to pick up the first stitch that can be a little bit tricky especially here where I have all my machine seams. So I will take my left needle and just bring it through where I want my first stitch to go and I use my right needle to go through the same same stitch here and I pick up my yarn and I try to bring it through to the right side and there it is so now I can continue and just knit in a regular manner and here where I go straight or flat I um, I will just pick up each stitch as I go and um, it's not always as easy because there are a lot of yarn floats on the wrong side so it's easy to pick up one of those instead but now it seems to be okay so I will just continue to knit and pick up new stitches and it looks like this and here I will begin to make a turn and there I will just have to be a little bit more careful uh, to make sure when I pick up the stitches that they end up being um, that they have an equal gap in between them just to keep the gauge correct. So now I will continue to pick up stitches and I will knit back and forward and for this I will make a picot edge like this one and 
when I arrive at the point where I'm making this edge, I will get back to you to show you how I do it. So now I have finished the first part of the neck here and I'm about to make the pico folding edge and I will show you how to make these picots here. So I do this when I am on the knit side and what I do is that I knit the two first stitches together just knit like a regular knit stitch only I pick up two stitches instead of one like this then I yarn over and I knit two stitches together again yarn over two stitches together, yarn over and so I continue until I have knitted around the entire neck and end up here. If I pull it, it looks like this every other stitch straight and angled and when I arrive here I will get back to you with the next step so now I have finished my row of knitting two together and doing yarn overs so next step is to turn to the wrong side and and going back I will first slip the first stitch and then I will purl each stitch and each yarn over and I will continue to purl everything uh, throughout this row and when I've done that I will continue like I did here in the first part where I knit and purl every other row um, making sure to still keep the purl stitches to the purl side and the knit stitches on the knit side and um, when um, when I fold double then the part I have begun to knit now should go a little bit below the first part and uh, so I will continue to first finish this row and then knit back and forward as I have done before and when I have reached the length that I need I will get back to you with the next step now the second half of my neck is finished so I have both sides of my folding edge and here you can see my pico edging 
So what I will do is that I will cast off in a regular manner, slip the first stitch, knit the second, first stitch, slip over the second, knit one more and slip. And I will continue to do this throughout the row. I will cast off a bit loose. Just make sure I have enough yarn here. Just to make the edge elastic and easy to attach on the wrong side. To be able to conceal all loose yarn ends. On the wrong on the wrong side here. So now I have finished my cast off, and I have uh, I have double folded my folding edge. It looks like this on the right side, and I have sewn it to the wrong side like this. Uh, what I did when I made this edge here was that I made this piece after the picot edge. I knitted this a couple rows longer than I did the piece that goes on the right side. The reason why I do this is because then it is easy to wrap it over my cutting edge like this and I can simply use some yarn and a needle and stitch it in place like this and This I have done now on the neck and also here on the front band. I have done the exact same thing as I, um, as I showed on the neck here. I have picked up stitches all the way down and knitted back and forward. But here, where I fold, I have made one purl row instead of picot. So this is two ways of making a double folded edge. So only thing left is to finish this corner here of the neck and to pick up stitches and make another front band with buttonholes on this side. I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.